Uh, I want to turn to Miguel. Uh, and Miguel, you, what you have done in Mexico uh, using uh, FOI uh, laws uh, in distribution uh, of farm subsidies, I want you to tell a little bit about that case and what you have been able to do. And uh, really uh, try to share with us some of the benefits of that work. Okay, uh, first, uh, briefly, let me uh, answer the question you did to Michelani because I find it more interesting. Uh, why we use the FOIA in our work in Fundar? And in Fundar, what we try to do is advocacy based on evidence. And uh, we believe in a strong uh, public debate, and the public information is basic for this public debate. And we have an agenda pro equality and against ex exclusion. We are not. Uh, we we try to put uh, our knowledge and our uh, abilities and our technical um, competitions uh, in favor of these groups that uh, that are suffering uh, some exclusion or inequality. And that's why we think that the public strong debate is not uh, just a abstraction. It's the capability of the groups uh, to have uh, strong arguments to discuss with the power, because the power is normally who is uh, excluding them uh, in the access to the public services. It's in this context uh, when we start to, uh, because we have um, some experience doing uh, budget analysis, and that's why we have a, a lot of a relationship, relationship with groups that uh, they don't have the technical uh, capabilities to do uh, budget analysis, but they want to find something that they have an intuition is happening. And some groups uh, come to us asking us uh, to do something, trying to find uh, what was happening with the uh, farm subsidies, especially with the agricultural budget. In Mexico, we have a... Uh, 23 billion dollars for agricultural uh, funds. You know, it's a, a very huge uh, uh, budget. It's, some, some people in Mexico said it is the half of the total farm bill in the United States. You know, and th this is a, a, a bunch of money put in. Uh, but but the intuition of these farm groups was that this money uh, it was being uh, you know kidnapped by uh, just a, a couple of families on industries uh, farm uh, agricultural uh, entrepreneurs what we start to do uh, it was uh, based on the access to information uh, uh, we request the list of the people who was uh, who was recipient of this money and we put all this information together after eight months uh, of working, and we start an uh, advocacy strategy with this uh, farmer group, uh, trying to impulse an agenda. Uh, what we were trying to do, uh, to do uh, it was to change uh, the very high degree of inequality, uh, the, the concentration. And this intuition, uh, when you start uh, the public debate, change when you have the data. If uh, I, I'm going to show you something using my. Uh, doing some uh, access to information request, putting the information together, and uh, using a program uh, to manage the database. Because what we have uh, is. 75 million of uh, boxes with information. It's, it's a very huge database. Yeah. The main point is we have first an advocacy strategy, and then we use the access to information to impulse this advocacy strategy. And we were trying to, uh, to revert the concentration. And it is pretty important to work with a group with uh, first-hand information. The farmer groups in Mexico, have, uh, they, they have a, a lot of information. What we, what we did in this case, it was to start an advocacy strategy with a, a very strong farmer group. They have uh, 60,000 members, and uh, they, they uh, were normally uh, excluded in the access to to subsidies. Then, this is 
this is the hard data that the Mexican government uh, cannot deny because the information comes from their own uh, registers. We uh, don't change any data. We just put together all the information and then uh, we, we show the information in a more friendly, uh, in a more friendly way. But of course, this is in Spanish. And, but in the second sentence uh, says that uh, the first 10% uh, uh, control almost the 60% of the subsidies. And it's not here. But the seven first percent control the 55% uh, percent of the subsidies. This concentration is unacceptable. When you have the hard data, uh, the things change. This group, uh, this farmer group, starts a, a, a very uh, strong discussions in the, con in the Congress to pass a law that uh, allows them to put a, a top uh, in, in, in the extension of the property that you can uh, uh, subscribe to receive a, a, a subsidy. And the other thing is, we, we functioned in this case uh, as a gate between the farmer group and the environmental working group, uh, a think tank in Washington, D.C. They, they, uh, they share with us the information of, of how to do this. And what we do, uh, it was very simple. We went where the knowledge was and we were where the needed was and put it together and impose an advocacy strategy. Thanks, Miguel.